What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman of Tech. So when it comes to macOS, I'll be happy to let you know that today Apple has decided to release macOS 13.2.1. Now this update took a while to be able to get. It took almost three weeks since the release of macOS 13.2. And for me on my MacBook Pro that you see here, the update size came in at 918.9 megabytes and the download size increased to 1.9 gigs. Now, I do have the developer profile on my Mac installed and irregardless of this, I was able to update. So you are able to install this, whether you have a developer or public beta profile or no profile at all. And I'll be happy to let you know that also alongside this, Apple decided to also release the full installer for this update. So it's available and can be downloaded on the web. Now, this is not all that Apple released today. If we open up Safari here and go to the Apple developer page, you'll be able to see some other operating systems that came out. For example, iOS 16.3.1 and iPadOS 16.3.1. We have macOS 13.2.1, of course. This is the video for that. And we also have watchOS 9.3.1 and tvOS 16.3.2. Notice that this is already a 0.2. It's ahead of the rest. So I'm going to be touching on that a little soon. But if you want to keep up to date and know what's going on with most of these operating systems, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, I did update my Mac. In fact, if we go into settings and go to general and go to software update, you'll be able to see that my device is up to date and you are going to be able to see the build number. So the build number we have with this update is 22D68. That's the build number that comes with this. And now let's talk about some of the changes that this update has to offer. Now, when Apple released Mac OS 13.2.1, they actually mentioned that this update is mainly a release update that adds bug fixes and important security updates. So for example, if I was to open up my Safari here and go to the Apple security page, this one, you can see that these are some of the Apple security updates that came out recently. And you can see here that when it comes to macOS 13.2.1, we have this security update. And if we click on it, you can see some of the patches that are included in this always. So we have some that are canal and you can see the description here and impact and it says an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with canal privileges. And also it mentions that a use after free use was addressed with improved memory management. So canal is basically uh, issues that have to do with the core OS or core operating system itself. And then you can see here we have a security patch that has to do with shortcuts. And it says for the impact, an app may be able to observe unprotected user data. And that is on a serious note. So shortcuts, it's a good thing that this has been resolved. And also we have issues that pertain to WebKit. WebKit usually pertains to Safari and connectivity. So these ones have been resolved and these are are the main three issues that are resolved in terms of security that were released today when it comes to Mac OS Ventura 13.2.1. Now, if you are definitely looking forward to downloading the operating systems that has the latest and up to date security, it's most probably going to be this one. It might not be the most stable, but it will be the most secure when it comes to the current Mac OS version that's there. Now, also some other issues that we have been resolved. One such issue has to do with Siri. So there were issues initially that were reported where Siri connectivity was dropping out quite often, and that has been resolved. And also when you were using Siri to be able to trigger Find My on different devices that you have on your iCloud, there were issues with that and this update has resolved those. If you go into the system settings and go to your Apple ID here, you the, initially a number of people had issues whereby they were not able to see some of their iCloud settings. So if that was an issue and you after updating to macOS 13.2.1, you will see that this issue 
has been resolved now something that i want to show you here if we go into the safari tab here and go to the security page you notice that apple mentions safari 16.3.1 and this one mentions that it's for mac os pixel and mac os monterey and if you click on it you'll be able to see some of the patches that come with safari 16.3.1 and they mainly have to do with webkit since webkit pertains to safari mainly and it, it has to do with processing a malicious crafted web content which may have been executed and also may lead to data breaches so that is the main one that's there go to about safari this section here you'll be able to see the build that i have so the version is 16.3 and the build that i have currently is 18614.4.6.1.6 now according to mr mcintosh he's really good here on youtube and on twitter too he did mention that if you have safari 13.3.1 the build that you have you look forward to have is very similar to this but instead of being this it will be 18614.4.6.11.6 so i just have a dot one but instead of that it should be dot one one dot six so i'm not sure what's going on i need to research more into it but if you do have safari 16.3.1 let me know if there is any issues that you would like to report with this update so basically nothing much is going on with this mac os 13.2.1 you can see it's mainly a bug fix update nothing major i tested some of the captions like before and no change in that aspect now let's talk about battery because i want to show you my battery health so if we go to the battery section you can see my health is normal but if we click on the info tab you can see that my maximum health capacity has dropped to 97 percent i haven't been checking it regularly but you can see that right now on mac os 13.2.1 i have 97 percent and my condition is normal now when it comes to the last 10 days you said you can see you know the screen on time hours that i've been getting on average and this was on mac os 13.2 so since i just updated for example here you can see i got about let's say five hours of screen on time using um almost 75 percent of charge so it wasn't the greatest and since i just updated to mac os 13.2.1 this is something that i'm going to be testing out more drastically and if there is anything that is worth mentioning or that concerns me or you then definitely i will let you know what you have to know about this update maybe before you update to mac os 13.2.1 comparing to the previous one and performance wise really there haven't been any changes from the previous one for me it looks more or less the same i didn't really run geekbench 5 since it was one of the applications that i recently just updated after updating to this i did notice that in the app store section i have i had a number of applications that needed to be updated and you can see some that i just updated and geekbench 5 included one of those so i will also run geekbench 5 shortly and i will run it without doing a screen recording so that i get proper results and I'll, if if it seems to be lower than what is average then i will let you know for sure when it comes to the cpu and also when it comes to overall device performance but from the get-go after updating i can't tell if there's any drop or any inc improvement in the performance of the device now that's about it for me when it comes to this update let's talk about potential future updates because if you saw here on the apple developer page you saw that here for tvos apple has already released today actually tvos 16.3.2 while others like mac os is on mac os 13.2.1 so you can see tvos is already a point ahead meaning that when it comes to mac os 13.2.2 we could be seeing it not too far away maybe end of this month we could be getting another update even next week when it comes to mac os 13.2.2 
and when it comes to macOS 13.3 beta we were expecting that update this week we've been expecting it last week and at this time it's pretty hard to tell when this update is going to be released but as soon as it comes out i would say before end of this month we should probably have it when it comes to macOS 13.3 beta 1 and i'll be covering it here other than that when it comes to the next big macOS update which is going to be macOS 14 expect that mid this year which is in somewhere in june and that is going to be at wwdc 2023 now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to this update let me know what else you find if i missed anything or if you'd like to share something in the comment section if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video